Alo? Alo ta kitari? Ni fikita? E, fikita mwenye alikucha kwa kemisti yako akiwa na shita ya abnomality ya kukula? Maji kyo mwese muna mokeira kwa seviri mki Siri mki nchungo ega kipo mwesa kwa tegere raya wa isi Inki buwa chete nye tansi nyumba mwane ni ngore tesu nite Several things unite us as Kenyans, and that includes our cultural diversity and our sense of national unity. Our differences might often divide us, but they are also the cords that tie us together. That's why we've decided to work on a series of videos as an ode to what it means to be truly Kenyan. That means that we will be revisiting a couple of hilarious, bizarre, archaic and downright backwards customs and traditions of our people. According to the Ministry of East African Community and Regional Development, we have 42 tribes in Kenya. Each of these tribes speak a different language and they also have differing traditions and beliefs. And so we'll kick off with the Luya community who hail from Western Kenya. Our brothers and sisters from the land of Ingoho are often the subjects of an endless list of hilarious memes, and it's all thanks to the stereotypes about their voracious appetites. To give a brief history, the Luya are amongst the 19 Bantu tribes that exist in Kenya. The tribe is further broken down into subgroups, including the Bukusu, Nyole, Holo, Samia, and Maragoli. Luyas are known for their peaceful and friendly nature, hence the other stereotype that they are always sending salams. And let's not forget about their love of photos, radios, and bicycles. Luyas also have several folklores. One popular one explains how the zebra got its stripes. Apparently, these fascinating creatures are as a result of donkeys that uncunningly painted their skins the stripes to escape the heavy work imposed on them by humans. Luyas are huge sports fans. They've also produced some of the country's most celebrated stars, including footballers McDonald Mariga and the late Joker Dengue. Former Kenyan cricketers David, Steve, and Tom Ticolo, who are brothers, also hail from the tribe. The late Robert Wangila, who was an Olympic gold medalist, was also a Luya. The Luya culture is also shrouded by a lot of myths and superstitions, and that is where we will pick up with our next video.